Yo, what's going on everyone? Back here, another episode. Last time we got to enjoy these cool little bike ride things. Had a nice little interesting battle with some dudes and some soldier guy. Uh, we went up, you know, doing our thing and making it here. We had to come up here, we're going to see a warehouse. But Biggs and Wedge met up with us. They think we're going to see Jesse's parents. Way. That's a long tunnel. Do we dare run it? Do we... Oh, nope. Stops us. Alright, we're following you, Wedge. Ooh, sector 7, employee housing district. Oh, no. Jesse's parents work for the employees? Or work for Sinra? Killing the planet. We were living the good life. So Jesse's like a little spoiled kid who realized, like, I want to be a rebel with my with my friends. Let's go see what they got going on over here. Wedge playing with a cat. Where'd Jesse let him go? Anything over here? Looking for some boxes. I don't know where I'm going, guys. I should have once again planned this out. But as usual, I didn't. Um... Oh, there they are. The folks here must be living off three or four times what I do. And there's Jesse. And probably live on like 20 times, because how much do we get paid by Avalanche? Still leaves the lights on every night. For the girl who only comes home once every other blue moon. Mom's an old-fashioned type like that. Think she'll make us pizza? Her Midgar special? She's quite the cook. Quick to whip up finger licking food, even if you drop by in the dead of night. And she loves guests who ask for seconds or thirds. Okay, let's head in. Cloud, you know what to do. Why don't you wait around the corner over there? Uh, okay. It's a shame you won't get to try the Midgar special. You would have really liked it. Yeah, maybe. She's like, hey, welcome. These are my friends, but except for Cloud. You go stand around the corner, you asshole. With your help, we won't need luck. You'll take on just about any job, right? Mm -hmm. I need you to rob my house. Think you can do that for me? Cloud is kind of stern here. Rob her own house, huh? The coast is clear. The signal will be obvious. Once the lights come on, it's go time. Gonna sneak into Jesse's house and rob her parents. I said going through the back. Yep, we gotta be a ladder right here. Oh, that's a door. Looks like a ladder. <laughs> What if I go to the front door? Can I open it? Nope, it doesn't give me an action command. Oh, 
Mm, I'm supposed to be deaf. Dad'll be in there, but it's okay. No, nope. Dad's got some medical problems. I need you to grab his Shinra ID card. And yeah, I know I should do it myself, but <laughs> but I honestly don't think I'm up to it. Just do this for me, okay? A Shinra ID card. I seem to be in like a work suit. My dad. He was a maintenance supervisor at the reactor. Okay, I don't need another story. I just need. Yep, there it is. Okay. Easy as that. He said it was a supervisor. I didn't say he still is. There's a thing on the floor. Where they give a soon card? Oh, we're reading that. Dear mom and dad, sorry for not getting in touch sooner, but I'm working at the Gold Saucer as an actress now. It wasn't easy, and I had a lot of help from people along the way, but I managed to land a starring role and closed our two tickets to my play to seeing you both there. Jesse Raspberry as the princess. Careful, it's hot. Anything else to explore in here? Who? You're done here. Hmm, Jesse's changed a lot. Man, a lot of interruptions this morning during the recording session. Time to go. But it's fine. Yeah. And here we are. Where's the door? Oh, right there. Going to the kitchen. And we just leave the back door open. Like, here you go. Just leave this here. Anyone can now sneak into her mom's house. Her parents' house. Because her dad is there. Mission accomplished. Up on the gold saucer? How long has it been since you even performed? Uh, a lot of people really rely on Jesse. As a stagehand, though, right? <laughs> you can be one of those anywhere. So why not come home and get a job at the Sector A Theater? Uh, I'll think about it. You know, I'd really love to stay and chat, but we gotta go. So soon? Gotta go. Yeah, well, we hadn't even planned on dropping by. But Wed wanted some of your famous mm. pizza. So good. Sure I can't tempt you with some more? Maybe just a couple slices, Mrs. Dark. Wed! Hey, I'm I'm doing it for you guys. You don't want me going to work on an empty stomach. <laughs> I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. No. Strongest. My supplier, our only option is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Hey there. This it? Now comes the hard part. I'm gonna use this to sneak into the 7-6 Annex. Uh, all right, let's get to it. Sorry, but you're staying outside. Only I know what to steal from where, so it's gotta be me who goes in. So, we came all this way just to eat pizza? <laughs> You think I'd let you off that easy? You're gonna earn every slice helping Cloud. Just do the thing where you draw everyone's attention away, like you did at my parents. 
What's the word again? Maybe I'm more nervous than I thought. Diversion. Yeah, that. Nice one, military man. So what? Does this mean we're gonna ask some Shinra folks out to dinner? Uh, Only if. Well, what she means. <laughs> no, that was mean. You just punched them. We make sure the guards are focused on the outside. Yeah. Exactly. Couldn't have put it any better. When you see a flare go up, that's your cue. Rush the front gates and make for the warehouse plaza. The more hell you raise, the more time you buy me. Huh. You're gonna run this guy into the ground, aren't you? How much time do you think you'll need? Not too much. I'll be in and out. I'll send up another flare when I'm done. We rendezvous in the vacant lot up ahead. <sighs> Hold on. How are we supposed to get back to the slums? Wait for the first train? No. I want to be back before that. Don't worry. I have something worked out. Now, let's get this done. <laughs> well, that diversion's not going to create itself. I guess not. Jesse's dad was in there, right? Yeah. Mako poisoning. It happened while Jesse was doing a show with the gold saucer. Ah, what do you care? No, I want to hear it. Jesse always wanted to be an actress. Worked her ass off for years. Until finally she caught a break. Top billing. Parents were thrilled. And then, right before opening night, her dad had an accident collapsed from overwork and in the worst possible place Mako storage lay there half a day before someone found him been like that ever since no change whatsoever and that's what got her into planetology led her to seek out avalanche how far we've come Jesse's got a theory about it thinks her dad's spirit is stuck now between his body and the heart of the planet so if we don't shut down the reactors soon He'll get caught up in the flow and poof. <laughs> What's so funny? Just that I understand how you feel. Unlike most of the time. I see. Do -do -do. Is that the end of the story? Mako's the essence of life itself. Of memory and hope. It's not something you burn in a reactor just to keep the lights on. No. Oh, uh, don't tell Jessie about this little chat, okay? When she gets pissed, ooh, she gets punchy. <laughs> well, ooh. No promises. Be serious, Cloud. She'll beat the shit out of us. <laughs> <Not my problem. laughs> this guy. All right, guys. It's the lot Jessie was talking about. We run into here when we've got what we came for. Yeah, but what are we coming for? Okay. So that's probably going to be the end of this episode. I know it might be short. i got a lot of editing to do just because of, uh, yeah, some stuff. I a couple of distractions. So hit that like, hit the subscribe, and we'll be back with another episode.